in an industry whose history is marked with allegations of greed, the story of APRO is one of remarkable generosity. Are you reeling in the years? Stowing away the time? Are you gathering up the tears? Have you had enough of mine? Are you reeling in the years? I got tired of realizing the guys who were selling me product knew more about the business I was in than I did. I know personally one of the things that I was most interested in was creating a safe environment for my company to exist. Everybody was just kind of doing their own thing and we decided uh, that we needed an organization to kind of bring everybody together. At the time there was discussion about putting together a group of people to address the issues in this industry. Uh, and that's really how I first learned about the potential of putting together a trade association. We didn't have a guaranteed right uh, of a safe environment to operate in just because of the lack of definition of what kind of business we were and, and what laws we should be regulated by. Well, the main issue was, uh, was truth in lending. Uh, whether our uh, contract was a, uh, a sales contract or a lease. Uh, that somebody wasn't going to have some off-the-wall legal thing that could basically put you out of business. So that was, I think those were the key issues of why the trade association was formed to begin with. So that was in, golly, I want to say 79 at Remco in Houston, Texas. And uh, that's literally how I first found out about the Trade Association. Then I think I received a call from Bud Holliday after I had uh, uh, made that contact at Remco in Houston about the meeting coming up in July uh, in Dallas. But I sent out a lot of letters. I remember asking people who they knew who was in this business and we would send them a letter. I had given a fairly standard legal talk about the nature of government regulation and Bud called me in the spring of 80 and asked me if I would come and make a similar talk to a group of business people. We did a lot of prospecting, sent a lot of mailers and said uh, if you're interested in doing something about making your business better come to Dallas on whatever it was, uh, February 15th or something and uh, we're going to talk about a trade association. Everybody showed up. The issue was raised about whether or not to form a trade association which I suspect had been in the back of Bud Holiday's mind all along when he first tried to organize the meeting, but had not been officially on the table until then. There were some concerns about, you know, the legalities and I trust in forming a trade association and whether there would be, you know, support both financially and dealers involved in their time. And uh, when I thought about doing a trade association, I thought, well, we need a lawyer. Never having sued many people, I didn't know many lawyers. So I called Ed Wynn. And besides, I figured a teacher would work cheap. I was wrong. <laughs> Someone said, gosh, if we're going to talk about trade association, we need a lawyer. And I was the only lawyer in the room. So I raised my hand and I said, well, I'll help you guys. I had been practicing law exactly two weeks. Uh, but I was dauntless and eager for uh, work. You know, he didn't know anything about rent on when he first came to one of those meetings, but uh, you know, it was probably a lawyer's dream to find a business that had that many legal issues up in the air. So 